Alrighty guys, so I know this is a confusing topic, so I actually want to take a moment and just discuss the difference between brightness versus exposure, because they both have very similar uses, but there is quite a significant difference. Uh, now, a quick note of clarification. In the last video, I think I said that one stop of exposure was actually equal to plus 75 brightness. It's actually plus 50 or minus 50. So brightness has a total of three available stops going up or, or three going down. So 150 being three stops, negative 150 being three, three stops down. Okay, so moving on, basically the difference between exposure versus brightness is that exposure is going to brighten the image or darken the image, but it's gonna affect the highlights more than the other tones. So it kind of has a priority over the highlights, whereas brightness is gonna affect everything equally in the image. So what we've done here is we've basically taken this chapel image, I've created a virtual copy, we created two different versions of it. One where we took it two stops up in exposure, and then one where we took it two stops up in brightness, and then one where we took it two stops down in exposure, and then one where we took it two stops down in brightness. I've already exported those. So you guys can just kind of follow along. Now here they are in my Windows folder. For some reason it's not rendering these thumbnails correctly, but let me load these up. So what we see here is this plus two image in brightness. So we have plus 100 brightness here, and you'll notice that we still see all the detail here in the highlights uh, in our sky. If I go to the next image, which is plus two brightness in exposure, this is the exact same exposure uh, as, as far as number-wise, but look at how much more it affected those highlights versus that previous image. We have so much highlights that are blown. And you might say, well, Pi, this is actually a different exposure. It's not. It's the same exact exposure as far as numbers go in, in, in terms of Lightroom, because you can tell by looking at the chapel itself. Look as I flip between the images. The chapel and the other areas, like the land and stuff like that, it does not darken or brighten at all between these two images. So you can see how much more exposure is affecting the highlights over brightness. All right, so let's go to the other set of images, which is the darker ones. Now, this first one is the brightness, so this is minus 100 brightness, and the next one is minus 100 in uh, exposure, or sorry, minus 2 in exposure. Now, the difference here is a little bit more subtle, but you'll notice that in the clouds over here, these highlights that were in the clouds are darker in the exposure version of the image than in the brightness version. So here's the brightness version. We can see the highlights are just a little bit stronger. They're a little bit brighter. Once again, this is because exposure is affecting the highlights more than it's affecting the other areas of the image. So what does this mean on a practical level? Well, what should you do when you're working on your stuff? Here's what I would say. If you are working on an image such as this one in Lightroom that has a lot of highlights, you have a, a sky, and you need to brighten up the image, don't use exposure because most likely you're going to blow out those highlights prior to getting to a appropriate level of brightness in your image. So in that kind of situation, you want to use brightness to preserve as much of those highlights as possible. If you're dealing with uh, an image like this in Photoshop and you need to, or I'm sorry, in Lightroom, and you have a lot of highlights in the sky, but you want to pull it back, so you want to actually darken the sky and bring back the highlights, then you want to use exposure because exposure is going to do a better job of basically recovering the highlights than brightness would. Okay, guys? So again, dealing with super bright images that you need to brighten further, Images that have a lot of highlights that need to be brightened further, do not use exposure because you'll blow it out. Images that have a lot of highlights that you need to darken, use exposure because it'll do a better job of recovering. All right, guys, hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions on that, just feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll help you guys to uh, answer them. All right, guys, let's move on to the next tutorial.